After a long day at work, you decide to turn on your TV, launch your favorite game, and play some multiplayer. The matchmaking process pairs you up with five other players, the timer starts and you can hardly contain your excitement. It is time to showcase your skills, it is time to be ruthless, because one day, everyone will know and fear the great bouncy bear. As the game begins to load, you start dreaming of a statue that they're going to erect in your honor, but a few seconds into the game and that statue is going to crumble. Your character keeps dying every time that it spawns and, whenever you do get close to getting a kill, your game lags. Everyone starts laughing at you and calling you a noob, so in a fit of rage, you throw your controller and break your TV. So what happened? Where did things go wrong? Before we tackle this question, there is this subscribe button just waiting to be clicked, and then there's a bell icon too that gives you all the updates on our content. Alright, enough about that, let's turn our attention back to Bouncy Bear himself. The matchmaking system keeps putting him up against players far better than him. But why does this happen? Why can't he ever catch a break? The problem is that the matchmaking process is depending on a simple queue. A queue in computer science is a structure that can store data based on the first in, first out principle. In other words, the first element added to the queue will be the first one to be removed. Because the game developers were using a simple queue, Bouncy Bear could be matched against a top tier player just because they happened to join the queue at the exact same time. This process is definitely not reliable. The developers of this game need to create a system that can arrange people based on their skill level. And so they develop a binary tree where each node can have two children nodes. The tree uses an algorithm called MaxHeapify to arrange the data in such a way that the top level node or the root is always greater than the children nodes. And so you'll notice that the skill levels decrease as you go from top to bottom. We can take this tree and transform it into a queue, and the result is a priority queue, where the best players are dequeued first and matched together. Here we have Malawi at 99%, his opponent at 100%, and this game is going to be a bloodbath. Now the priority queue is going to match Bouncy Bear against somebody with a similar skill level, which will give him the confidence he needs to rise and conquer the gaming world. I hope you enjoyed this very, very short video about priority queues. They might seem a bit complicated, but when you get a general sense of the underlying mechanics, the code itself is very easy to read.